What is up, everybody? We're here at the 250th with uh, Trevor Comer, our uh, our newest Goo edition. This is the first of he's played as a Goo gamer, and he topped it, baby. He topped it. What? How'd you do? And uh, tell us a little bit about your deck. Uh, I got top 32. Lost in top 32. Uh, went a eight one day one. I uh, got 47th after Swiss, so <coughs> I got, got in there. 46. <laughs> you got 46. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, the deck played really well. I just kind of got wild loss in top 32. Um, yeah, the, yeah. the th top 32 loss was actually an insane scenario. It was just crazy. But we don't have to get into it if you don't want, but it was crazy, bro. Right. Um, yeah, just hit us with the deck. Hit us with the deck. Yeah, I played uh, Castira. The deck is the only sleepable deck in the format. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to Kobe Short. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, three, three unicorn, three Fender. Yes, sir. Uh, two rise. I, it should be two, a hundred percent. Yeah, I, I didn't really feel comfortable playing one. No. But uh, this card was actually was like wild for me all day. Like this is like the reason why I was like, I didn't win like, I probably won like forty percent or less of my die rolls. But like this is the reason why I was like been doing so good going second. Yeah, Gamma seems like it would have been really good this weekend. Like, I didn't play it, but it seems like you like, overperformed for people that played it against me and for you. It's yeah, really good. Yeah, I liked it a lot. But uh, then I played three Ash, just because this Ash, bro. You have to play it right now. Yeah, and I played uh, two Cerevis. Um, the Logan, spicy. Logan convinced me to play this instead of Lance. But uh, this card actually did a lot of work. Like, when I saw it, it was... Most the only time this was in my hand, like one time I got Eclipse and I, it would Lance would have theoretically been better, but like there was like five other times where it either did the same thing or it was Lance or it did something that Lance couldn't do, like stop a Rysart, like literally won a mirror because he or Rysart passes. It does seem really good in the mirror, yeah, to he, be fair. He, he literally a Rysart passes. Like I, I like hand trapped him twice and he was able to like a Rysart pass, but he used his whole hand and um. I just like summoned summon a unicorn and he was like, uh, yeah, I'll just banish it. And I was like, uh, Serevis. It's pretty much a game. Yeah, that's. The card's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I played uh, one Ogre, one Scareclaw, and the Driver to go with these. Um, uh, <clears throat> how did you like Ogre? Cast your Ogre? Yeah. Were uh, you going for the Lock 5 plus a Rise Heart ever? Or, like, is that why you played it or just kind of for grind? No, I, it, I just think it's like a good card. It helps you. Like, you need to play. A little bit more engine you know to like just cause ogre plus theosis is still like just the same thing you kind of yep. want to draw a your monsters that's fair and it's one that you can just special from your hand for free like yeah. Fenrir and, and th this so. card just like i feel like people think like when they play this deck that like oh if i don't like completely wombo combo my opponent i'm gonna lose like, yeah but like this deck has like insane grind it has like it's really good if you are really good at technical play and like yep. this card is like just and, and like a more simplified scenario, like just stacking their deck, is insane. It's is insane. Uh, like, and and the fact that it's bigger than everything else yeah. uh, in the mirror match, especially like that's very relevant. Yeah, that like, you can just kill most of everything. If you get like uh, if you if your opponent has a right a right shard on the field, and like you get one other attribute on the field, you can just run over it. Yep. And you, they have to like use their effect, so you can kind of make them do it prematurely. But um, yeah, I played three three planet, uh, three theosis. Uh, three birth. Best card. Uh, three book of moon. This card, card insane, is insane all weekend. Also, like uh, eclipse sucks. I stand by that. But this card's awesome. I agree. Uh, I didn't play eclipse either. Eclipse sucks. A hundred percent. Three pot of prosperity. Yep. Uh, Self-explanatory. Terraforming. One talent. Shout out Jake Quincy. <laughs> oh, one talent, baby. How did that perform? Uh, pretty much. Well, this was like thirty-nine. It was like 38 at one point. I could fit like two cards in there. Uh, but I decided to play Gamma. Yeah. So the driver took like the 39th slot. So I only had one slot. And then like I listened to like some YouTube videos just on theory, like other people's theory before the event. I watched Jake Quincy's video and he was like, yeah, just play one talent. So I just threw it in there. Came, I used it a lot. It was good every time I used it. Uh, two in Perm. Uh, both the traps. Uh, so the reason why I play both the traps is because when I have the most of the time, like blind game one, when I have like the block five hand, I just go, I just end on like double or ice heart with both of these set, and it's, it's I, I haven't lost 
when I made that board. I personally, tell me if I'm wrong, if you think I'm wrong, uh, Double Arise I think is the best play to like to make. Uh, like, it's I have literally have not lost one time when I made it. It's no one's playing Lava Golem. Yeah, yeah, like in a format where Lava Golem is very like just out of the meta right now. Like it was, it, for Vegas, everybody was playing it. Yeah. But now people are playing Kaijus. Like well, I saw a lot of people on Kaijus today. And uh, even if they like Kaiju over one, you still have another and you can a lot of times recur the one with with, uh, with prep, like you said, like because you have prep set. And it's just Oh uh, yeah. yeah, like my opponents had like, which I had to have like a non-engine card like this and stuff like that. But yeah. like my opponents had like a really good six card hand and they can do some damage to it, but like, they still can't like actually win the game because this is like follow up, and this is like uh, adds more follow up. You can either add it back to your hand if you, you think the mirror's gonna zeus you. You can just add back to hand. Like I don't see people adding back to hand with this a lot. They just summon it, and then they'll get their whole board zeus or something like that. But you can just like add your unicorn back, to have more follow up. Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, that's uh, it's a very good looking main deck. I liked it a lot. Honestly. I definitely think this is one of, if not the best, uh, cash chair main deck in the room. It, it's really, it was really good. Yeah. Um, it was really like different than a lot of things I've seen, which I think is what makes it good, for sure. Right. You want the solder extra? Right? Uh, wherever, whatever you want to do. Just do the extra. Yeah. yeah Sounds I played, good. Played uh, three arise. So pretty much the like I've heard some people like in their deck profile say that like the third one doesn't come up, which theoretically the third one doesn't come up a lot but it only doesn't come up a lot because they see your extra deck in the mirror and they don't rip one because you play three if you play two they're gonna rip one and if you end on double arise like we were just talking yeah. about like and they one. out your board you have to have another one right, right? Yeah. yeah um two zeus uh two shank uh hacker yep. big guy yep uh, How do you feel about one big guy? Uh, so, yeah, I'm actually going to iterate on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, one Dark Arm. Yep. One uh, Drake of Sack. Yep. Omega, because I'm into Gamma. Yep. Doing it on your turn is broken. Omega does seem like it would be insane, yeah, like, you, under yeah, Mirror, you, you use Pot of Prosperity, take Gamma, the Rise Heart triggers Gamma. Garua, uh, Donner, and a Finish Act. So, this... Should have been th this. Should have been a suck at this, in my opinion. But that's like the only error in my side deck, I think. Um, I saw some people playing like the Skull Knight over this. This was just solid for me, yeah. like getting follow up. Because like the deck sometimes cannot have like enough crack back. But this was always like drawing me like more engine for next turn. Like if you're trying to play mid range and like conserve resource and like out resource your opponent, then this card's insane, right? Yeah. It, it, it just like gives you a step further, but I agree with the two big guy. I played one as well, and I, I probably should have played two. Yeah, they ripped it every time. But. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh, except for one guy, but that was a misplay. Anyway, um, but yeah, this this should be either second big, probably second big guy, or maybe like a fossil knight, but probably second big guy. Probably what I do going forward. Cause this card just like I made it one time, and I didn't even make need to make it. I just like it made me like just win harder. I was already gonna win. Yeah. Um, side deck, uh, shifter, won me top 64, uh, game one. Oh, nice. Yeah, game one in top 64, uh, just literally open on playable and pass. It destroys me with Drytron. Uh, game two, I make my double rice hard, double trap board. That cooks that deck. Um, and then game three, I just drop this on a stamina phase. He makes, uh, Fucho, and then I hit him on one of these. Sheesh. I Sheesh. I actually had a dude today... He went first, game one, and just did shifted in the standby. Game one, going yeah. first. And I'm just like, this is wild, bro. People are playing this, like, yeah, this, blind going first. This should not have been main deck. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that was wild, bro. The top cut was 33 cash tiras, so, like, a little bit over half. He did top, though. He top 64, the guy who did yeah, that to yeah. me. So, like, the main deck shifter top, which is which Yeah, he's is still cool. in top 16, I think, actually. Uh... Not the guy I played, but I, if there's one, another, there's another yeah, one. In that's the top crazy. Because he beat Murphy. Hey, Shifter's a good card, but yeah. I, I don't like it in main either. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, sticky. Yeah, sticky. This uh, this card I actually, for some reason, could not draw this card that much. I really like wanted to draw this card uh, in the mirror. I was still winning mirrors, that's fine. But like, I was just like, I'd have a five card hand and be like, man, if this six card sticky, like I just instant win. But like, I'm glad I played it. Uh, I actually only used it like three times the entire event because I just couldn't draw it for some reason. They were like, it would always like, they would always banish it off the top of the rise heart. Like yeah. it'd be my sixth card or something and it'd banish off the top. 
uh, cosmic because I was respecting Rancheria Runic. Um, it, it, I didn't play it, but I'm, I'm glad it was in there just to Cosmic their yeah. fountain. Like you kind of have to play that card right now, yeah. to be honest. My, my matchups were just like all cash Tira, like two sprites. Uh, all, it was like all cash, two sprites, and two Drytron. I think it was like cash, two Drytron, two sprite. I, I'm pretty sure. Wow. It might be no. I played one Dark World, round four. I played Aaron Furman. But the, like your whole weekend, that that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. The, today I only played cash. Yeah. I played four cash today, and so it was like top cut is full of cash, and like it's a flu in top cut. I think like th there's a lot of crazy stuff here. Yeah, I don't want to play that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, put two dark ruler in here for uh, sprite. I almost played three, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because didn't really need it that much. I, I said the opposite. I played three, and I said that I wish I'd have played two because yeah. I never sided in three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I don't see a single scenario where the third one would have been sided in. But um, I played uh, Harpies, just just in case like I played like Labyrinth or something like that. But uh, actually, for my side pattern, would side this card in going second against the Mirror. Yeah, I think uh, it's really good against the Mirror. Yeah, like they'd have like you know Birth, Big Bang Prep set, our Book of Moons and stuff. And you just Harpies it, yep. cleans it up pretty good. And then uh, for my going first card for two Deflector, it was three Deflector, but then I decided to play one of these just because. Acting, activating this under Ice Heart's good. It's really good. Attach it, they never get it back. But yeah, well, that's the deck. Yeah, your deck seems insane, man. Congratulations on the top 32, 250th YCS, man. Um, you want to give some shout outs? Yeah, shout out to uh, my boy Michael Murphy, also got top 32. He helped me build my list. Um, shout out to all my friends back home that helped me test, like Sam, Peyton, Jordan. Uh, all y'all, uh, you know, shout out to my old sponsor for dropping me so I can be on a full team now. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out CM Games, too. We got that on the sleeve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, thank you, man. I hope to see you in a lot more Top Cuts with that jersey on, baby. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time, man. Thank you.